So my first question, and let's start this way. Is really cloud green? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was expecting you to start with, uh, with Tom on that one. But, um, Tom, okay, made so his, Tom made Tom his point quite made clear. His, That's why I left him at the end. 45 minutes on that one. <laughs> okay. So, um, so I guess everyone saw Tom's presentation. I agree with most of the points um, with Tom. I guess the way I would look at it is um, when look when, uh, and this goes a little bit in the direction of what Tom was saying is, I sort of divide it into three different factors to look at. One is the the um, efficiency, the power user power usage efficiency, the sourcing of the uh, of the energy, and then then lastly, I would also look a little bit well at the, at the uh, uh, the, whether or not you're increasing or decreasing the usage. And uh, on, the, uh, on the sourcing, I, Tom made the point that, uh, and I would agree with that, that, uh, that the cloud computing centers tend to be located in places where the, the energy is not as clean. And so uh, basically, I'll let Tom, I'm sure, will elaborate on it. So I won't even say too much on, on that point. Um, so I agree with that one. On the, the issue of the usage, um, I'm a little bit divided on that one because I don't know if it's fair when you're assessing how green it is. If, let's say, the usage goes up, then presumably the value is also going up at the same time. And if the, uh, the uh, carbon footprint or the, uh, or the uh, power usage also goes up an equivalent amount, then I don't necessarily see that as a reason to say that it's less green. As long as the ratio were to stay the same then, and you're getting increased value out of that, maybe the, the total burden on the environment is higher, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's a little bit of a philosophical question, I would say, at least. Um, and then the third point, I guess I tend to, to uh, uh, disagree a little bit, in, or I don't know that Tom necessarily said that, but um, I would, uh, so I'll let you, let, you, uh, let you elaborate on that. But on the, on the efficiency. I will put uh, Laura in the middle. You put it in <laughs> the buffer, okay. Okay, I'm trying to be a little bit provocative anyway. So on the efficiency, I think that the cloud providers, they have every incentive and they have the capability to be much more efficient than if you're doing something internally. And I think one aspect that I'd like to bring out um, is, is workload efficiency, which I don't think we talked about too much. And that is that you don't necessarily take exactly the same functionality and just put it into the cloud and have it run on more efficient hardware resources, but you're, you're, they're re-engineering the, so the software as well. So just to sort of illustrate that a little bit, um, it's maybe not the ideal example, but it's something probably people can relate to. If you take Microsoft Office, you've got like loads of functions in there. And most people use maybe 10% of the functions, functionality in there. If you look at Google, they've, they have to deliver all of the, for their Google apps, they're delivering sort of equivalent type of functionality. They have to deliver that um, operationally as well. And so they've made something that's far, far more efficient. And if you look at re-engineering uh, re the workloads, um, the cloud providers have the ability to do that, and I think they can achieve um, efficiencies that may or may not, and here I'd agree with those that say we don't have the data, but it's hard to put the two together and say wh wh where you come out net-net. So that's, that's my points. Laura. Thank you. Um, well, um, first of all, I would like to, to um, thank you um, and also Tom to having brought up this topic and actually put this question into the room because I think um, simply from an academic point of view, it's interesting to discuss it because it has been something which has been sort of obvious. Everybody always assumed like um, obviously cloud computing is uh, green and um, I think it's uh, important to, to raise that question. However, um, I must say <laughs> um, that I still find there is uh, some truth in it. Um, I understand perfectly um, uh, the points uh, Tom made. Um, but, um, it's, uh, I think uh, on the where, like the logic behind the scalability that is there and which makes it more efficient and meaning more efficient less energy consuming, less costly, um, that's the model that is behind it, um, then I must say, obviously, even if it's bad energy, like it's less energy used, and um, so it's a positive thing. Um, that um, a lot of operators don't, um, yeah, don't show their numbers is um, something I personally think uh, that needs to be certainly worked on, which is maybe a question of, um, if they need to, um, if there's a sort of market for it. So um, is there really so much need 
by the companies that they're actually asking for it. Maybe this is also something which will be increasing in the future. And um, so my question to you, Tom, would be um, for your data center, do you know how much energy consumption is there for every application? Uh, <clears throat> so that, that, that's a good question. And the answer to that is no. And the reason for that is because our data center is a colo center. So we don't have our applications running out of there. But I know exactly how much energy each of our customers is using because we build them for it. So uh, yes and no, I guess, is, is the answer. Not at an application level, because they're not our machines, so we can't, put the in, we can't put the requisite software on the machines to see what their applications are consuming. Um, on the uh, Google Apps for Domains versus Microsoft Office, uh, it's, it's, it's an interesting point, John. Um, I... I'd have to say I'm not sure, um, and I'd say it would very much depend from geo to geo. Um, one thing that is often, and somebody referenced it this morning, and it, it might have even been you, Laura, I'm not sure, but something that's often not taken into account is the amount of energy use that uh, network switches use, and it's enormous. Those big Cisco switches, they're real energy hogs. They're getting better, sure, but those thousand port switches, they're, enor they're enormous hogs. And when you're sending stuff down a line and up a line and down a line and keeping a, uh, keeping a socket open all that time, that consumes a lot of power too. Whereas Microsoft Office running on your own machine can be unplugged and consuming no power. Um, I said it this morning, I said it a few times, and I, I'll, I'll say it again. I am a huge fan of cloud computing. I use it all the time. I would love to be proven wrong. I want the cloud providers to publish those numbers to say, actually, no, Tom, look, we're very green. Here's the numbers to show it. 